So let's get started with this one with the transporters. These are the ones that go in and out of the membrane 12 times. And there's a bunch of them. There's the serotonin transporter. Some people call it the reuptake pump. Sometimes you just call it the pump. The serotonin reuptake pump is located on the presynaptic neuron on the axon terminal. But there's a pump for norepinephrine and one for dopamine. Sometimes you'll see the CERT, S-E-R-T, stands for the serotonin transporter, NET for the norepinephrine transporter, and DAT, D-A, dopamine transporter. But there's also GABA transporter, glycine transporter, and an excitatory amino acid like glutamate transporter. And inside the cell, there is another set. You'll notice at the top that I have ions that are going to be different than at the bottom. The top has sodium ions and chloride items that are actually transported and counter-transported with the potassium ions. And so what happens in the case of this transporter on the presynaptic neuron, you see the CERT serotonin transporter has flat tires. And how does the CERT wagon pump up the tires? It gets a piece of sodium binding. So all of a sudden sodium allows this transporter to work and the serotonin which is floating out here now can bind to it and get transported downstream with sodium while the potassium comes out. That is called a sodium potassium ATPase which provides the energy. It's constantly pumping sodium out of the neuron because the environment inside the neuron is low sodium. So the energy that's basically created by having a gradient of sodium is used by the pump to put the serotonin in, leaking sodium out, and the pump just pumps the sodium back out again. Now these guys at the bottom are different. These are vesicle transporters. They're on your synaptic vesicles. And they are really basically a proton pump. What does that mean? Is that, that inside the synaptic vesicle, they try to get rid of all the positive charges. And what happens is that a neurotransmitter, which is also positively charged, exchanges places with it. So you have a proton pump which pumps the protons out and allows the charge of the monoamine to come in. And there's VMATs, they're called them, vesicular monoamine transporters. And it turns out there's one important one that we'll talk about in the tardive dyskinesia chapter coming up later called VMAT2, and it transports serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, and or histamine. There's a vesicular transporter for GABA, there's another one for acetylcholine, there's another one for glutamate. But they all exchange with proton pumps inside the cell on the membrane of the synaptic vesicle. So here are the presynaptic monoamine transporters. It turns out that they use the same one molecularly. But inside the serotonin neuron at the top, you see serotonin is its regular substrate. But did you know that ecstasy was actually a substrate that gets pumped and hitchhikes a ride, if you will, on the serotonin transporter, MDMA? Now, norepinephrine normally transports norepinephrine, but did you know it could also transport amphetamine and dopamine? And the dopamine transporter, it can actually do the other way around. Norepinephrine on the dopamine transporter, dopamine on the norepinephrine transporter. So they're not completely selective, and then amphetamine goes on the dopamine transporter as well. So in addition to the monoamine transporters, there are transporters for GABA and amino acids, particularly glutamate. We'll get to some of this when we get to an explanation of those specific neurotransmitters, but there are not a lot of drugs, if any, that actually act on these, so we'll not spend a lot of time on them. But their vesicular monoamine transporters are the ones that are inside the cell, and they actually work on monoamines, with, with also one other kind of exception, which is uh, histamine is transported. But acetylcholine has its own vesicular transporter, uh, GABA has its own, and glutamate has its own. The point is, you can get one transporter to get a neurotransmitter inside the cell 
from outside the cell and once inside the cell you've got another set of transporters like on this slide they get it inside the synaptic vesicle where they can be safe and sound and not eaten by enzymes and stored sort of like in a loaded gun ready to be fired in neurotransmission. 